let's get started to uh, making the scene look like um, as the one you have seen in the intro or in the thumbnail or uh, in the thumbnail of the video. So last tool I made, um, someone commented saying that the graphical quality looks a lot better in the intro uh, and the thumbnail, but it doesn't look as good at the end of the um, in in the end result of the um, tutorial. So today I'm going to show you guys how I set, um, set up that scene to make it look you know um, different and nice. So let's get started straight away. So first thing we'll do is uh, straight from here. This is the default template, by the way. I've we'll just added some assets to it, and this is uh, what it um, naturally should um, normally look like. Okay, so um, obviously the uh, lighting is actually uh, so right now it's actually um, on movable lighting. Although down here it says stationary, the lighting is actually movable um, since I had already changed it. So first thing we'll do is light source. When you make it movable, you'll notice that all the nasty um, shadows will disappear. And you'll get the nice um, leaf to leaf shadow um, appearance down here, which looks a lot cooler than um, than what it was before. Second thing, I'm going to turn up the uh, intensity up to about 15, the light intensity up to about 15. And then I'm going to use temperature. So now if I click on use temperature, I get this, um, I can use the um, temperature um, scale down here. So this will really um, um, determine, uh, there's two different colors, one is kind of bluey and one is kind of like an orange color. So I'm just going to take this down to 1700, this is up to your choice, however you like this. Depends if it's a um, sunset, sunrise scene or like a midday scene, whatever you guys are working on. Next I'm going to go to light shafts and I'm going to turn on the um, light shaft occlusion and the light shaft bloom. And now what this has done for us is if, if we look at our sun, um, of course, I need to. Uh, if you do rotate your sun, for example, you need to first go to light source. Um, so light source, you need to press E to rotate your light source, and that would rotate your sun. And once you have rotated this, your sun will not change its position. For that, you need to click on your um, on your sky sphere and go to refresh material, and then your sun will change its um, position. So if I go to light source now to, to demonstrate, I'm going to change my sun location to about. I'm going to move around here. Then I'm going to click on my um, so, uh, on my sky sphere and then refresh material. Again, light source. I'm just going to rotate it a bit more. So now my sun is um, about here. And click on your sky sphere and refresh material. So already by changing the um, light source to movable and adding the um, god rays, using the um, light shafts uh, light shafts inside our um, inside our lighting, uh, we have ha we have this a uh, really cool effect. But now I'm going to just change the bloom tint color to slightly yellowish because um because i don't want my um my son to be um you know uh, purely white as the scene is a bit yellowish to dark orange so i'm going to press ok to that next thing i'll do is i'm going to go to my modes in the lights i'm going to drag in a skylight so what that does is that it terminates all these um all these dark um edges or these um dark areas on our trees but i'm going to turn this to uh I'm going to change the uh, mobility to movable again and I'm going to turn the intensity down to about 0.2 so 0.2 or uh, uh, 0.2 does is that uh, we still have nice looking shadows and it leaves a bit of the shadow um, obviously if you um, disable it the shadows are a bit too dark and a bit too uh, too much so when you turn this on uh, it really helps the scene um, look a lot nicer um, you could even go um, a lot higher if you really really want your scene so if you really want everything to be visible but I'm going to stick to point 0.2 for this and this looks nice now so the next thing I'll do is uh, I never really use the um, atmospheric fog I've, I haven't really needed it that much so I'm going to delete that instead I'm going to drag in in my modes in uh, visual effects a height fog so a height fog I'm going to um, change, uh, change the start distance to about 1000 so it doesn't start uh, you know right right next to you and the, the fall off uh, you can adjust here so the fall of um, and the 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 density of course um, determines how thick the fog itself is, and the fall of determines uh, how high up it goes into the sky. So obviously, if you turn this down to zero, it's basically covering pretty much all of your sky. If you change this down here, then it goes lower and lower. So that's it. And already, our scene looks so much nicer. But there's one more thing we need to, we can do that, to make it look even better, which is uh, um, I'm using 4.15. So if, if you guys have heard about um, tone mapping, I think it's a really cool, lovely feature. Okay, so I have just dragged in a post-process volume from my visual effects in my modes, and I'm going to um, check unbound down here. So it affects everything globally, whatever we change in here. So the slope, I'm just going to turn all of these on. So the values I'll use is one. 
zero, 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 and one. And now have a look. Now this, now I think this looks a lot better to me. This looks so much better than um uh, than the starting scene that we had. And of course, uh, if you still think your sun is a bit too bright, you can also adjust the bloom settings down here, which would obviously help um determine how uh, how strong your um, sun actually is, or the um, bloom bloom effect actually is. But I'm happy with point two. I'm just going to stick to that. And then of course you have a lot more settings down here which you can uh, play around with, for example, a uh, motion blur and um, depth of field, auto exposure, but that's not really the topic of this video. I think the scene looks um, really nice now. And yeah guys, so um, this is what I wanted to show you guys, um, of course. So this is it guys, I hope you guys um, found this video useful and um, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. So thanks for watching.